This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB basketball with head coach Andy Kennedy. Blazers All Access is presented by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System, and by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. You may be welcome. Old Dominion to Birmingham last weekend, and the green and gold couldn't quite pull off the sweep despite three amazing individual performances. We welcome you to Blazers All Access with head coach Andy Kennedy. I'm David Crane. Coach, the roommates were at it again for you on Friday night. Taven Lovett had 25. Tyreek Scott Grayson added 24, and they were two big reasons why you won by seven. Yeah, well, those guys can combine for close to 50 points, and they did it in such an efficient manner on both ends of the floor. We're a pretty good basketball team, and, and Friday night, most especially in the second half, when we were able to score points off of our defense, we turned them over, got in the open floor, and those two guys were tremendous. Yeah, down two at the half, really stepped up the pressure in the second half. 46 points by your basketball team in that period. Yeah, and a group that really struggles to score. That's why we have to generate offense from our defense. We did that Friday night. You really made life tough on ODU's outstanding point guard, Malik Curry. He had five of the 20 Monarch turnovers on Friday night. I thought we did a good job of not giving him space. He is a playmaker. He's an aggressive downhill driver to his left hand. We tried to tilt the floor, not give him very many angles. He tried to force the action a little bit, which allowed us to turn him over and uh, make plays in the open floor. Blazers trailed 32 to 30 at halftime, but turned it on in the second. Here's some of the highlights from UAB's 76-69 win. Listen, double team comes. He'll send it to Nicholson at the foul line. Free throw line jumper up and good. The high screen goes to the right elbow. Back up to Nicholson around 11. Taven left of the lane. 12 foot jumper up and good. Inside they get it to Trice across the lane. Deflected, stolen again. UAB's got it. Benjamin into the front court. Top of the wheel, flips it back to Scott Grace and measures the three and hits it. Well, that's NBA three. Blazers lead it, 9.05 as the clock ticks in the first half. Here's Ertl trying to turn the corner, couldn't do it. Above the foul line, he'll take a fall away 15-footer and hit it. 19-15, the UAB lead with under eight to play in the half. Lovin's got it, right elbow, jumper, up, good. Feeds it to Lovin above the foul line. Now Jackson at the right elbow. Underhands in the paint to Lovett, who lays it in and draws the foul. Two Monarchs reclaim the lead. 18.40 to play. Ertl catches at the free throw line. His jumper up and good. Behind the arc, lobs it to Jemison. Feeds to Lovett, cutting down the lane for the two-hand slam. Beat it, pressure by the Blazers. Hunter throws it away right to Jemison in the front court. Benjamin flips to Scott Gray. Back to Jalen. Top of the wheel, three. Good. Bounce it to Jemison into the lane, right hand, hook shot up and in. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 co-pays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. Green and Gold went for the sweep on Saturday. It was another low-scoring first half. Coach, what was the biggest difference you saw from Old Dominion in that opening 20 minutes on Saturday? You know what, I, I think they were they were very similar to where they were in game one. Uh, they're big, they're physical. You know, we talked about that going into the game. We, we were going to have some issues as it related to size discrepancy, really at most every position with the exception of Trey. Uh, I thought they did a good job of just gapping us. We have really struggled shooting the ball from the three-point line. Coming into the series, we were 13 out of 14 in Conference USA as it relates to three-point percentage and efficiency. And that continues to be uh, something that is very, very problematic. Other teams realize that, so they try to stop our driving lanes, which were very successful in game one, forcing us to make perimeter shots. And when you shoot it as poorly as we did, six for 30 in the two-game series, only made two in game one and only four in game two, it's going to be for a long night offensively. 
You managed to turn them over 17 more times on Saturday, but your 15 turnovers seem to negate that just a little bit. Well, 15's a season high for us. You know, we, we lead the league in, uh, right around nine, nine and a half in conference play. So when you turn it over 15 times, you're almost doubling your normal output. We play a possessions game. We did not dominate the free throw line like we did in game one. We didn't win points in the paint like we did in game one. We have to turn you over. We have to value the ball. And then we've got to be timely in our shot making. None of those came through for us on Saturday. Down 29-25 at the half, and Quan single-handedly kept you in the ball game. 23 of his career high, 28 coming after halftime. He did single-handedly keep us in the game. You know, it was ironic that I looked up, we're up by three points. We had not played very well. Felt like a rock fight, but we were hanging in, hanging in, hanging in. And it was really all Quan. We challenged people. Hey, man, somebody's got to step up and help it. Much like Tave and Tyreek, you have to have two guys at least with some synergy that can make plays. Unfortunately, uh, Quan was single-handed for Saturday. I know it had to be frustrating to look at that box score from Saturday and see that you held Old Dominion to 39% shooting and come up just a little bit short. Well, defensively, we've been solid all year. That's where we have to hang our hat. Offensively, we've had our struggles. Uh, we've got to keep working at it, keep working at it, hopefully turn the corner. Monarchs held on in the end and got a split with the 65-58 win. At top of the circle, big jump step into the paint, kicks it out, left corner three for Jackson, is good. Rebound, 7-6 Blazers, 14.05 to play in the half. Another free throw line jumper by Mike Ertel up and in. Jab step, dribble drive down the right of the lane, flips it to Nicholson in the paint, eight foot jumper, good. It's right off the screen, Ertel dribbling, launching a three, and Hitting it to Ertle above the foul line, steps in, 15 footer counted. To Reese, he'll slide right, he'll penetrate, lose the handle, taken by Jackson in the paint. Quan pushing, running ahead of everybody. He will lay it up and in and draw the foul. To Jackson, diagonal pass near side, Scott Grayson. He'll drive, get cut off, right of the paint, bounce in the lane to Jackson, floated with a right hand up and in at the foul line, cut off. Kicks it out to Scott Grayson. He penetrates in the lane. Runner, yes, and a foul. Eric Scott Grayson, outlet pass to Jackson, running the floor. He will lay it up. They'll say, score the bucket, and a foul. Between the rings, Mike comes right, drives. He'll lay it up, off the glass, and good. With it above the foul line to Scott Grayson, around right corner, loving. Taven gets to the foul line, finds Jackson cutting into the lane. He lays it in again and draws the foul. Yeah. Double team. Cut off, gives it out to Jackson, left side. He'll launch a three. Got it! The highlights are brought to you by Mountain Dew. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package, at the end of the day, is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. Blazers now 17 and five overall, 10 and four in Conference USA, tied for second in the West Division. Time to check the Children's of Alabama stats. For the two games, you have a 40% from the field, 20% from three-point range, 70% from the line. Got out-rebounded, unfortunately, in both games. And, Coach, your, your assist to turnover ratio has been pretty good all season long. It was, it was the wrong way for you in the series. Even though you got the split, it was still just a tough shooting weekend on the home floor, wasn't it? We've had a number of those all year. That's why we have to be so good in the other areas. We talked about it. We have a formula by which we can be successful. 22-game uh, sample size. It's pretty – clear to us. We've got to win the free throw line. We've got to win points in the paint. We've got to win points off turnovers. We need to win all three of those when we shoot the ball as poorly as we did. And then you couple in, we had uh, season high turnovers on Saturday. It's going to make uh, for a very long day. For the weekend, Quan averaged 15 in the two games. Taven averaged 13 and a half. Mike, 11 and a half. Well, Quan and Taven each had one tremendous game for you. Yeah, I thought so. It would be nice to get, you know, we play about seven guys most of the minutes. It'd be nice to get four or five of those guys being playing that well on the same night. Makes us a dangerous team. Right now, though, on Friday, we had two guys that carried us. On Saturday, we couldn't get Quan any help, and unfortunately, we came up short. A little tough to pick a difference maker for the two games because of the great individual performances, but went with Tyreek Scott Grayson, one of the seniors. He averaged 15 and a half 
and four and a half rebounds in the two games. And boy, he was awfully good on Friday night as well. I thought the big steal, he won the game, you know, at the end. They, 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 Old Dominion, to their credit, was battling back, battling back. Uh, made a couple of huge threes to cut it to a two possession game. We had trouble versus their pressure to close. Uh, missed the front end of a one and one. He makes a huge steal and one uh, converting the three point play which sealed game one. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Legacy Credit Union. Blazers finally got to play Russ College on Monday night here in Birmingham. Mother Nature did her best to keep it from happening. The game was postponed from last Tuesday to last Wednesday to this Monday. Green and Gold able to wrap up the home slate with a win. Now UAB will spend the rest of the regular season on the road and in the Lone Star State. Timing is pretty good. I'm glad we weren't heading to Texas last week with the winter weather issues they dealt with. Let's hope everything is thawed out. The power and the water are back on in San Antonio. We pay a visit to UTSA. The Roadrunners sit at 12 and nine overall, eight and six in Conference USA. Their series last weekend was Charlotte was postponed. So they'll be rested and a totally different challenge for your basketball team this weekend with the way they go about things on offense and defense compared to what you saw against Old Dominion. Well, they, they profile one of the most prolific scorers in all of college basketball and Javon Jackson, a guy that can, can really, really go get baskets. They, they've got a dynamic duo in their backcourt in Jackson and Wallace. Uh, they score a lot of points. They score it easy. They make a lot of shots, something that uh, we're unfortunately not that familiar with. So we're going to have to do a great job defensively. Uh, and again, control the areas that uh, give us the best path for success. Also have a pretty good big man in Jacob Germany, don't they? They do, they do. They, they play a lot of spread. They, they get in a lot of pick and roll. He's a guy that controls the paint for them on both ends of the floor. Can't take anything for granted, I know, but their defensive numbers have not been nearly as impressive as their offensive numbers, have they? No, we've got to do a better job offensively. We've got to be uh, really, really tight on the offensive end to give ourselves a chance so that defense can make the difference for us. Tip time, 6 p.m. on Friday, 3 p.m. on Saturday. Both games available on ESPN Plus and, of course, on the Blazer Sports Network. Good luck against the Roadrunners. Thank you, David. For Coach Kennedy, I'm David Crane. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Mountain Dew, Do the Dew, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. This has been a presentation of the Blazer Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.